Hello and welcome to the Jojo Star YouTube channel, everything Jojo anime and manga. I'm returning with a stand showdown that always kept me wondering who the definitive victor would be. Josuke Higashikata and his crazy diamond versus Jotaro Kujo and Star Platinum. And since we kinda saw a fight between these two strong stand users already, and Jotaro Kujo ended the fight quickly using his time stop, I was wondering what if Jotaro fought Josuke without time stop? Would he win? Well, that's the question I'm answering today. Crazy Diamond and Star Platinum being two of the strongest close range humanoid stands in the series, a fight between these stands would be awesome to see. Since Josuke was very young during part 3, Jotaro from part 4 will be the one we will compare Josuke with in this video. Hence, the battle will take place in Morio. If you enjoyed this video, then liking and subscribing will help, but for now, let's get right into the showdown. Crazy Diamond is a close range stand, which like Jotaro Kujo's Star Platinum, is characterized by its physical might and speed, at the cost of a short range of 2 meters. Crazy Diamond's basic characteristics are the following. Crazy Diamond possesses immense physical strength, having been able to easily punch through the abdomens of two people at once. Its strength matches only Star Platinum, weakened by the 6 years of it being unused. Having once successfully broken its defense, prompting Jotaro to remark that Star Platinum in its unused state would have difficulties against Crazy Diamond in a contest of strength. Crazy Diamond's other characteristic is its super speed. Not only is it capable of surprising an on-guard and fully charged Red Hot Chili Pepper, but Crazy Diamond can also outpace other stuns such as Highway Star in close combat. Josuke himself estimates that its strikes can exceed 300 km an hour, or 190 miles per hour. Though this is likely false as its speed is comparable to Star Platinum, which is said to move at the speed of light, it was also able to catch a bullet fired in close proximity to Josuke, much like Jotaro did in part 3. Its precision, according to Jotaro, it can effectively fire off a rifle bullet from its finger up to 50 to 70 meters when Josuke fully concentrates. Crazy Diamond's speed, strength and precision combined makes this stand very lethal in the hands of Josuke Higashikata. Thus, Crazy Diamond is a powerful stun in close range combat, whose capabilities are enhanced by its unconventional power of repairing broken items, making it a redoubtable and unpredictable stun in a fight, but also an invaluable fighting partner as it can effectively heal any wound. If this ability is used while Josuke is in a foul mood however, like when someone insults his hair, its target may become warped as a result of improper restoration. Crazy Diamond's ability cannot heal its user, cure illnesses, retrieve things that are erased by the hand, or restore life to dead organisms. Its stats are not comparable to Jotaro's Star Platinum, however, stun stat could easily be changed over time, and I personally believe that Araki made the stats for Crazy Diamond lower on purpose so Josuke would not be able to challenge Jotaro in power. Moving on to Star Platinum. Star Platinum, much like Crazy Diamond, is a close range stun with basic reach of only 2 meters from Jotaro's body, but with incredible speed, strength and precision. It is one of the most powerful stuns featured in the series. Its overwhelming physical prowess in every basic characteristic, save for range, coupled with Jotaro's own cleverness in combat allows Jotaro to repeatedly prevail against many stun uses even without the usage of any special ability. In addition, Jotaro's discovery of its time-stopping ability only made it all the more formidable in combat. Platinum possesses immense strength, being able to throw a jeep, carrying 4 men and a little girl out of the path of an 18-wheeler with one hand. Star Platinum also boasts a phenomenal speed, it was able to intercept a bullet, fired from point-blank range, briefly faced off with Silver Chariot whilst he was using Anubis, and is stated to exceed the speed of light. As well as all that, Star Platinum possesses the awareness and reaction speed to protect Jotaro in many instances that he himself seems unaware of. For example, protecting him while frozen by Dio's time stop, or reviving him from near death by directly pumping his heart. Star Platinum's precision is incredible, it can surgically remove an object embedded in a person's skull without ill effect, catch both a bullet and a minuscule stun like lovers between its thumb and forefinger in midair. This is mostly because its enhanced eyesight utilizes eagle-like eyesight throughout Stardust Crusaders and Diamond is Unbreakable. For example, being able to see 4 kilometers across a desert as well as identify meaningful details, such as a specific type of fly in a high resolution image. In my opinion, most impressive of all, it can also follow a card shuffle performed by a professional gambler, subsequently recounting the entire new order of the deck. Star Platinum's primary method of attack, its Aura Aura Rush, 
throws an extremely fast but precise barrage of powerful punches to polarize any opponent or destroy objects. Now of course, you can't make a video about Star Platinum without mentioning Star Finger. You see, Star Platinum can forcibly extend its middle and index finger to the length of 1 to 2 meters, allowing it to perform sneak attacks and stab opponents from afar. However, the technique's frequency of usage decreased as the battles intensified. Jotaro's time slot will not play a role in this fight, since Jotaro would win every battle undoubtedly. So instead, I will not talk about it further and go straight into the battle itself. This is part 4 Jotaro, so a less powerful version of the unstoppable man featured in Stardust Crusaders. Jotaro has not used Star Platinum until his investigation of stand arrows as mentioned in part 5, so Josuke has a fair chance to win. Ok, the battle begins. The terrain as mentioned before is the streets of Morio. Jotaro recently arrived and in some way someone insults Josuke's hair because of course. The battle begins with a furious Josuke attacking first since Josuke's brash personality and impatient teenage mind most likely would charge into battle first. Crazy Diamond's speed would be shown off, and Josuke's Dorara rush would catch Jotaro by surprise. With Crazy Diamond's incredible speed, this would most likely injure Jotaro since he would not expect an opponent as fierce as Josuke. Being in an environment with many objects that can be broken and then repaired with Josuke's ability, Crazy Diamond has a clear advantage in the streets of Morio. Since Crazy Diamond's strength is comparable to Star Platinum, as seen in the manga and anime adaptations, Jotaro's defense would likely be broken and Josuke's stand, Crazy Diamond, would likely be the victor in the first match. Right, the second match, this time in a more open environment. Let's say the outskirts of Morio. By the Boing Boing Cape, you know, less objects to use for Josuke and this time Jotaro attacks first. Okay, so if Jotaro attacks first, he will undoubtedly use the best attack ever seen in Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, Starfinger, in succession with his Ora Ora Barrage, to quickly put Josuke's defense to the test. Since Josuke's stand has great offense, something like his defense would be less powerful. Of course, Josuke's durability is nothing to scoff at, however, when taking Star Platinum's punches, I doubt Josuke would be able to block them. Crazy Diamond's speed is the key to winning, however, Josuke most likely would use a tactical retreat to later strike Jotaro quickly and end the battle. Jotaro's position will play a big role in this battle since he can see Josuke's attack even though its attack is faster than a bullet. I still believe Josuke would most likely win this battle as well, even without the full use of object in his environment. This is because Josuke in Crazy Diamond's speed and power combined is superior to part 4 Star Platinum's power. Overall, I think most people know that Star Platinum is a more powerful stand. However, in part 4, when Jotaro is not as strong as he was in part 3, Josuke in Crazy Diamond's speed and perseverance would most likely get the upper hand over Jotaro. This is of course if he didn't use his time stop. Star Platinum the world, even with only 2 seconds of time stop, would easily beat Josuke. However, I believe that without the ability to ult the time, Josuke Higashikata and Crazy Diamond would overall win in a stand showdown. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, then please like and subscribe. Share this video around and feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below.